New at six, a local three-year-old boy is fighting for his life after being diagnosed with brain cancer. News Channel 3's Madison Wiles spoke with the boy's mother today. She has more on how you can help. Today I spoke with Mandy Johnson, a mother who received the news that no mother can imagine hearing, that her son has a brain tumor and needed emergency surgery. She Zoomed with me from St. Jude's Hospital in Tennessee. Hey. This is three-year-old Nathan Johnson singing despite going through what most will never experience in their lifetime. His mother tells me his first symptoms started last May. Well, he had been having some nausea and vomiting. Shortly after, she noticed he began having balance problems. When he was, I was looking at him straight forward from the couch and I could tell his eyes Looked crossed. After going to two separate Valley hospitals that misdiagnosed him, she took him to Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego, where they learned the unimaginable. And they did the MRI, and they told us it would only be like 45 minutes, and we were sitting there you know, two hours later, and they still hadn't brought him back. A neuro team gathered and explained their son's diagnosis. He had a brain tumor, which we never, ever in our wildest dreams would have thought that's what it would have been. An incredibly rare form of brain cancer, a tumor the size of a plum sitting on Nathan's pituitary gland, the gland responsible for the growth hormone and other vital functions. Just a day later, Nathan underwent surgery. The doctors were confident that they got 99% of the tumor, but on the three-month follow-up, there were two spots showing the tumor still there. At four months post-op, he still isn't his self and he's gained 30 pounds. But she says little Nathan never gives up, his strong personality shining through. He still loves to read his books and even sings along with mom between treatments. <laughs> Looking for their next option, they turned to St. Jude's Hospital in Memphis. They've been there for three weeks now. They arrived with the intention of starting a treatment called proton radiation. But before they could begin, Nathan had another terrifying setback. While sedated, he began vomiting. While they were trying to suction him and give him air, he went to cardiac distress and they had to code him. And so all last week, we were in the hospital, he was in the ICU. Now waiting for Nathan to regain strength before trying again and praying that the radiation therapy will provide the miracle Nathan needs to live a normal life. Mandy tells me she hasn't been back to work since this all started, and her husband has had to take time off from work as well. As you can imagine, these treatments are incredibly expensive, and it's likely that Nathan will need growth hormone shots for the rest of his childhood. To give you an idea, one vial of that can cost $4,000. So Nathan has a very expensive medical future ahead of him. The family says they appreciate prayers, but anything you can contribute financially, I've posted a GoFundMe right now on our website, kesq.com. From home tonight, Madison Weil, News Channel 3.